Hey there, friends. Thanks for listening to the Compared to Podcast. We are on day 29 of our 30 days to pray for your body image. This is Heather Creekmore, and I am glad you're listening. Today is a big day because so many of us that wrestle body image issues wrestle approval. And today I want to talk to you about part of what the cure for approval is, and that seeking something else. Now, some of you are thinking, oh, I know, Heather, I need to just seek the approval of God and not seek the approval of others. I need to stop trying to please man. Yes, 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 all of the above. But there's one thing that I don't know that we do enough of, and it really should be the cure for our approval needs. Are you ready for this? It's favor. So I'll be honest with you, I grew up with parents that prayed with us every morning before we went to school. And every single day, my mother would pray for favor for us, for my brother and I. Favor with our teachers, favor with the other kids. When I got to college, she would pray for favor. When I got my first job and second job and third job, I've had a lot of jobs. She prayed for favor every single time. And I'll be honest with you, I was a little uncomfortable with that. I was like, yeah, I don't know that I should receive special treatment. And if you know any of my story, I've kind of struggled with the whole concept of grace, right? Like, I don't know if someone should like me uh, in a special way unless I have earned that. And that was, that was my heart struggle. But now, years, decades removed... I see clearly how approval is a problem, right? I see clearly how the need to earn approval or to work for my own righteousness, all of those kind of things, like I do good, I get good kind of thinking, how that's contrary to the gospel, right? Because the gospel is, I didn't do good, but Jesus gave me his grace anyway, right? That, you know, Jesus died for me anyway, even though I didn't deserve it, right? And so letting go of that, getting what you deserve, kind of mentality and instead embracing God's grace led me to a place where, and I talk about this in the book, The Burden of Better. If you haven't read The Burden of Better yet, what are you waiting for? If you liked Compared to Who, you were going to like The Burden of Better even more. I promise you that. So just go grab one today. But in The Burden of Better, I talk all about grace and how I really feel like so many of our comparison issues are are just a a, a problem with understanding grace and how it really operates in our life. But approval is something we have and can feel confident that we have in Christ because of his grace. And yet, some of us know this intellectually, and yet... We're still looking for approval from others, and we still just get stuck there. So today, the concepts I want to talk to you about is favor. What would it look like to pray for favor from others? Because here's the bottom line. Not everyone is going to approve of you. And also, like I talk about in Burden of Better, you can try to do everything right and protect your reputation and feel like you're doing the right thing and being a nice person and all the things. And people still may not like you. I had a really hurtful experience in this realm, and I share the story and burden of better. But, you know, you don't really have any control over what others think of you. No matter how perfect you like to behave around them, no matter how well you think you're treating them, they still get to decide whether or not they like you, whether or not they approve of you. Ouch, right? And so instead of seeking others' approval, instead of trying to change or adjust ourselves or protect our image so that others will approve of us, what would it look like to do what the Bible prescribes? And that is pray for favor. Because not everyone is going to like you. But with God's supernatural help, you can have favor with people that it might seem crazy on paper would ever like you. I think about Joseph, right? His brother sold him into slavery, and yet he had favor. He was given, he was in Potiphar's house, and he had favor with Potiphar. He was given 
favor when he went to jail, <laughs> given a favor then eventually with the Pharaoh of Egypt, right? Those were all unlikely relationships <laughs> for Joseph <laughs> to really excel in, shall we say? Like there's really not an on paper explanation for why those people would be like, hey, you prisoner, I think you're pretty awesome. You be in charge of everything, right? It didn't really make sense except for the fact that God had given Joseph favor. The same with Queen Esther. Now, she was beautiful, and she was maybe the most beautiful of the whole harem. But, you know, men can be fickle, right? He had a lot of women to choose from. And yet, Esther was given God's favor, and that's why the king chose her, and that's how she was able to save the Jewish people, Right Today, we need to pray for favor. This is a biblical concept. The first I want to use today for our verse of the day is Psalm 512, and it goes like this. Surely, Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as with a shield. Oh, friends, do you ever try to use your image as a shield? Oh, yeah. If I just look a certain way, then people will think this about me and they will like me. Image is a horrible shield. It's a horrible shield. But favor, ah, friends, the Lord's favor, that's what we should be seeking for approval from others. Will you pray with me today? Ah, dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much that it's not all up to me. God, I thank you for the reality that I can't control what other people think of me or whether or not other people will approve of me, but for the assurance I have that you've already accepted me, that you already approve, that you already love me. God, thank you for the confidence and security that I can have in that truth. And God, today, I just pray that you will help me and everyone listening give up our need for approval, that you'll help us see that our image is a horrible shield, that no matter how perfect we try to become, we still may not be accepted and approved of by others. But God, you give us your supernatural favor. You can grant us favor in relationships with people that may seem to be the most unlikely people to ever like or approve of us. God, I pray that we will let go of the need to have others approve and instead trust you alone to give us favor with those people with whom we need favor to accomplish your purpose in our life. God, free us from the need and the desire to make everyone happy all the time, to get all the likes, to get all all the attention and approval, and instead allow us to rest in your grace that tells us you are enough, your grace is enough, and the favor you grant us with others is enough. Thank you, Father, for loving us and for caring for us in this way. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, that's all for today's show. You guys, we are so close to being done. Uh, Tomorrow is day 30. Big finale. Big, big finale. You won't want to miss it. And hey, Refocus 21 is open. Sign up for that if you need more support. That's a great next step. I love to coach women as well. So if you're looking for coaching help, hey, you can reach out to me through the coaching tab on my website, compared to who.me. Are we email friends yet? Because we really should be by now. I mean, it's time to take our relationship to the next level. So make sure you've signed up for my email list too when you go to that website compared to who.me. And that's all for today. I'll catch you in tomorrow's episode. Have a great one. Bye-bye. <music>